Continentex 211. Educating the youths through films. I'm Carmen Augusto, and I'm honored to share with you my story and to represent the many journey of the amazing women on this campus, coming from Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, North and South America. We have all come from around the world to embark in this remarkable and sometimes rocky experience. <laughs> I was born and raised in Beira, which is in Mozambique, and I come from a family of three children. And my mom is here today after a journey. <laughs> after a 35 hour flight journey just to witness my graduation. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, my father was sentenced to five years in prison due to my country's poor judicial system. He was a victim of a banking scandal that left thousands of Mozambicans impoverished. I remember the day when the two policemen came into my house and took my father. We were left with nothing. And from that day on, I knew that my life would completely change. As a nurse, my mom didn't make enough to pay for her bills and afford her daily expenses. So she took on night shifts just to afford at least one meal per day for our family. With my dad in prison, I had to wake up every day at 5 a.m., clean my house, cook my dad's meals, and drop them off in prison, where I'd find a line of about 100 to 300 women waiting outside for their husbands to finish eating. After, I'll quickly race to school in order to make it on time for my first class. When I moved up to secondary public education in Mozambique, it was quite different. In my classroom, we were about 90 students per teacher, and in a day we were supposed to have seven classes, only one or two teachers would actually show up. Everyone around me cheated, everyone paid to pass a class, and that was normal, that was all I knew. That was the only form of education that I was aware of. In 2009, I was selected to attend a school in South Africa called the African Leadership Academy, also known as ALA, which aims to develop the next generation of African leaders. That's when I began to understand the power of education. Since Portuguese is my first language, at ALA, I struggled during my first semester because it was my first time learning in English. So when I finished my two years at ALA, I knew that I still needed to improve on my English skills. So I took a gap year at Miss Porter School in Connecticut. <laughs> That's when I met my amazing host parents, Peter and Cindy Pertillo, who knew nothing about me, but took me in as their daughter and supported me throughout my years and at Smith as well. <laughs> at Miss Porter's, I fell in love with the single sex environment. And so when my college counsel told me about Smith, I visited and I applied. At Smith, I really enjoy my economic classes with my advisor, Roger Kaufman. <laughs> and I appreciate my residential life family for teaching me the essence of community building. I love the housing system. Shout out to Scales House, Gillette House, Duckett House, Tyler. You make me feel at home. <laughs> I'm very grateful for alumni like you who made my journey possible and so many others possible. For many international students who come from disadvantaged backgrounds, asking your parents for $80 to purchase a textbook is equivalent from taking away a whole month's worth of groceries from our families. However, it's because of you and the Smith Student Aid Society that many of us, including me, are able to get eyeglasses, go to the dentist, buy our Ivy Day dresses, and attend academic conferences. 
thank you for caring about us. Your kindness makes a difference in our lives. I'm very thankful for my peers and my teachers who encouraged me to strive for excellence and to Smith for making me the woman I am today. <laughs> Alumni and friends, because of your generous donations, I am no longer the girl waiting outside of prison. I am the woman who had internships with General Electric, Carnegie Mellon, and Coca-Cola. <laughs> I am the woman who spent her junior year abroad in Brazil. I am the woman who, after Smith, is moving to California and joining BlackRock, an asset management firm. <laughs> Obrigada, merci beaucoup. Thank you for making my Smith experience possible.